everyone! Today we are doing another Sense of Self, aka going into somebody's space and snooping around. I am really excited for this one because we are going to be visiting Chris Clemens. I feel like if you are familiar with Chris, then you know him for being really funny. I love the videos he makes on his channel where he interviews people on the street. I think that he just has this innate talent for talking to people and really bringing things out in people. He also does make really great commentary in those videos too. So I have just found him to be someone who is really interesting. I met him a couple years ago and it's been cool to see his transition from living in New York City to now being in LA, how much he has evolved, how engaged he is in conversations and how he has a lot of opinions to share, which I really appreciate and he doesn't apologize believing certain things and wanting the world to be a better place and I think that all of us can agree that it's great to want the world to be a better place, but it's also great to have a laugh. I think Chris does a great job at giving us that release. You don't really get to see him in environments where he's like sharing more like personal serious anecdotes. This was a really special experience because he opened up and shared things that are really meaningful and personal to him. It really just creates a 360 view for me when I see Chris now because I have a better understanding of who he is, where he comes from, what has influenced him along the way. But you guys can see all of this for yourself. Let's Let's get into Chris's place. Hello. Hello. <laughs> How are you? I'm good, thanks. Come on in. Gosh, thanks for where, coming. Where are we off to? We're off to my room. This is, I guess this is my living space, but here's, lovely, my, lovely. here's my bedroom. Yes. So, what do you have? I have this molten brown rock rose and pine hand wash. <laughs> I'm I love clean. It. it just smells so good. So I'm gonna be honest and normally most of the time everything that people are showing me on Sense of Self it's like a surprise to me but because <laughs> I used Chris's bathroom before shooting this I washed my hands with this soap and I walked out and I was like oh my god she literally soap. raved about it. <laughs> it was an authentic reaction and I had also seen you post about it on Insta stories so I was like I'm gonna try this. So I was looking in your bathroom like, ooh, look at all these things. <laughs> oh fuck, what else did you find? Oh boy. <laughs> How would you describe that set? Um, I don't know, but I think that's why I like it. It's like leather, just... but like also like like a whiskey. I, see, I don't even know what I'm saying, but I just am saying it to sound like I, like what is that? It just smells good. Yeah, like I don't know what it is, but like it just smells good. Like I don't even know what a, a rock rose is. It just smells like clean, but like homey and not yeah. like in your face, but it's just scented enough where yeah. I'm like, Mm. The rock rose made me think that it was going to be super florally. What but is that? Like, I don't know. I'm assuming it's like kind of rose. <laughs> it's like a rose? Watch, it's not. <laughs> yeah. It's like a bug. Somebody in the comments, tell Let us what us rock know, rose is. I don't feel like Googling it. Yeah, we can't Google right now. Now for sight, I see that you have something here. Hello? Oh, my Uber's outside. Gotta go. When I was younger, my brothers and I would go to my Nana and Gramps' house for a week in the summer and they would take us to do school shopping. We would like live there so they like spoiled us for a week. We are in Target one day. I saw this old Polaroid camera and I was like, I need to have this. Like, ah. I somehow finessed a Polaroid camera. So I became obsessed with Polaroid cameras. Obviously the square ones got like discontinued. But Fujifilm came out with these like sideways ones. And so cool. I started really taking a lot of these like back when I lived in New York um, and then I've continued it up in LA. So yeah, I just have like all of these like this is my first playlist live. Oh that my was my gosh. first meetup. Yeah. Wow. These are just like this is my mom playing beer pong and kicking my ass in it. 
just like Wait, some of these are like random. I know what those are. Those are cinnamon roll waffles. I remember that on Instagram stories. Oh those my god. Those are some fuego. What makes know. you like Polaroid so much? I just like how quick they are and you never know what you're getting with them. Especially in they the, just, the internet age where like on your phone when you're taking a picture you can see exactly what it's going to look like yeah. and you're taking like a thousand takes And I just something. feel like, I just like the like the look of them. Makes me happy. Yeah, I feel like <laughs> I feel like Polaroids are something that I think more and more people are craving now because I think at the core of it, it's really it's a pure moment that you're capturing. Yeah, and, and just, just have these staged. books of just yeah. like funny things of like, oh my god, I forgot that happened. They're just and these were so cheap at Urban Outfitters. They're like five dollars. They're really they look nice though. Maybe one day you'll have like leather bound <laughs> books that smell like rock rose and pine. <laughs> can work towards those goals. Exactly, I have something to work for. It looks like you have another <laughs> camera related thing. I do, and this one also relates to my Nana and Gramps. So my Gramps, when he was alive, would always have this camera and he'd be taking pictures. We would always get like photos printed out that like he got developed, we'd get them in the mail. I don't know, it was just such like a pinnacle of who my Gramps was. And so when he passed away like five years ago, my Nana was like, I want you to have it. And I was like, I can't take that from you. Like that's, I feel so honored to like have this. And so there was a roll of film in it left that he like didn't, oh I know it was like a lot, but I don't know. I love just all of the, the wow, those sounds. The sounds are so, like, this sound has such a bigger thing in my like life than I think I realize it does. Just, and like when it takes a picture, like, and then, ah, oh, there's just so many good fucking sounds. Oh, in the film Winding? Yeah, like, <laughs> this is just like, ah, uh, this is it. So I definitely, like, attribute my, like, like for photography and stuff to them. I definitely see the candid vibe in yeah, the that Yeah, yeah. And that's really cool. I just love, yeah, there's something about just, like, candidness yeah. and he was always so good at that. I started an Instagram because I was like whatever but the pictures turn out everybody's like what filter is that and I'm like it's a fucking camera. It's film. <laughs> um, the pictures just like all look so oh, wow. like and these are all like yeah. so not edited. And it looks like the filters that they try to create to make photos look it's, like this. Yeah I remember as a kid using disposable cameras and going on field trips and stuff and taking all these pictures and not having them yeah because that's all you knew and then you would get him back and it was like a little mini Christmas I love and so that. I just it's so fun as an adult like, you know having something that? to look forward to <laughs> I love it thank you I really like thanks it thanks for too. sharing that no problem I see this thing over there called Old Bay so <laughs> <laughs> apparently this is like an East Coast thing this is like a Chesapeake Bay Maryland like tri-state area of like Delaware Maryland and like Virginia, I don't know. But basically, it's like seasoning for seafood, poultry, salads, meats. It's just, Ooh, that smells good. Like, that, it's just such a, it just reminds me of like summers at the beach. Should I, oh my god, fries. <gasps> oh! <laughs> this on fries is crazy. <laughs> Old Bay fries are oh, crazy. Oh man, can I like you can, this? Yeah, it's a very Whoa. weird taste. But no, it, I like that. It, it has a little bit of spice in it. It has too. a little bit of spice. I love that. I'm telling you, if you this know what this good. is, then you know. And Wait, I, so how did that come into your life? We had a beach house in Delaware, so in a house of like all boys and my mom, <laughs> breaking crabs open was like a huge thing, and everybody uses Old Bay at the beach. Old Bay fries are such a thing. All of a sudden, I wanted to make shrimp last night. I was like, I want Old Bay, so I went to like pavilions. I went to like. All these other, I finally found it at Ralph's. This is something so stupid, but I love it. No, I love that. And I've that. like grown to appreciate it. So we're currently sitting on your touch item. Yeah. Which is your bed. <laughs> yeah, which I was very ambivalent about because I, that feels like such a douchey YouTube thing, like internet person, like, I love my well, bed, can't also, leave my bed. Like, also, most people feel that way about their bed. I just really feel like I've perfected the bed. It's a Casper mattress and um, then I bought a four layer, four inch layer thing of memory foam. Hashtag not spawn. On Amazon. <laughs> yeah, no, not sponsored, but Amazon if you want. It's just the most comfortable, like, oh. I haven't laid down yet, but I have to say that my butt really likes this. Yeah, my whole body really I'm likes gonna, this. I'm gonna go 
full body lay down. Oh, we're, we're doing this this soon. <laughs> oh my god, Chris. Yeah, what yeah. What the heck? Yeah. Oh my god, it like goes into your lower back. It, oh, I don't know Whoa. how. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Now, that is so good. It gets like right in the curve of your back yeah. and supports it. And then Whoa. Sunday nights when you just like, you take a shower, you put on a face mask, you just lay in bed and From watch the TV, shop? the cream shop, you know it. <laughs> I watch Chris's Instagram stories regularly. Oh my God, wait, no, I have. <laughs> This is just the face masks from the giveaway. So this is what Chris does. He hangs out on his bed and he chooses from his many face masks. I just like to sit in bed and watch TV and really do nothing. It sounds That's like the heaven. biggest secret. Please do. I love how my bed turned into like my face mask obsession. You, this is the beginning of your beauty channel. This. <laughs> Sitting on your bed. This is the beginning of the end. Mask. That's what it is. I'm like an 88 year old person. This is so embarrassing. <laughs> Thank you so much, Chris, for Anytime. letting me come into your place and for giving me a ton of face masks. Oh my gosh. Too. I'm so excited to use no, them. No, thank you for coming over and including me in Sense of Self and oh, forcing awesome. me to clean my room. So where can everyone find you online? You can find me at youtube.com slash Chris and then it's just like Chris Clemens on Twitter and Instagram. If you feel like having a good laugh, definitely go and subscribe to Chris because I swear to God, I don't think that I've ever laughed around somebody so much before. Yeah, and if you have kids, make sure that they're far away from you. <laughs> I, I agree with that. <laughs> it's not exactly family friendly. Chris is unapologetic and I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> I will take that. And on that note, farewell. Bye everybody. <laughs>